Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Audrey, and today is going to be a very short but fun video. I have a Haven back there with me, and we are actually right at the library. We're gonna go hop into the library and pick out some fun books, and then I'm gonna take you home and go over the books that we pick out, and that's gonna be it for this video. So I guess it'll be kind of a library haul, and I'm really excited. I went to Starbucks, I had a free drink, so I got an iced coffee, and yeah, it's been a good day. It is Friday, and I'm probably going to pick up a lot of books, but I will be honest, I probably won't be able to get to them all, at least anytime soon. Um, life has just been really busy lately. It's just the phase that we're in, the season that we're in, it's just busy. Yeah, I'm hoping to get to some books that I pick up today. But if not, that's okay. I'm just enjoying life. Any free time I have, I read, I knit. I just uh, am a mom. I love spending time with Ava. So I don't put a lot of pressure on me to read a certain amount of books or to knit a certain amount. So I just enjoy it and uh, yeah, just enjoy it when I can. So all that to say, let's run into the library and let's do a kind of quick browse, pick up some fun books. I have no particular book in mind that I want to get. So this is going to be purely based on title and book covers. So definitely judging a book by its cover for this library trip. Of course, I'm going to get some books for Ava. She's going to use her library card for that. And yeah, so I'm excited to see what books that they have here. My library here, you can see in the background, it's my local library. So um, they actually have really popular uh, new releases that uh, people don't really pick up. I don't know. So I'm usually able to get some new books um, and I don't have to wait for them. So that's really fun. But yeah, okay, I'm going to quit the chit chat. Welcome to today's video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe so you'll stay updated when I post new content. All right, let's go ahead, go into the library, and yeah, like I said, this is going to be a quick trip. Ava has literally had two cat naps today. It's noon, and she has not slept a whole lot. She's just, she's doing something where she's just refusing to take long naps. Um, yes, it's been, <laughs> it's been a lot, and she also needs to eat. She, I tried to feed her just now. She wouldn't eat, so uh, yeah, this is going to be a quick trip to the library, but I'm excited. I, uh, yeah, hopefully that we get some fun books for the both of us and I'm going to enjoy my coffee and just enjoy the Friday. It's the weekend and it's beautiful outside. It's like 90 degrees, which is definitely not hot here for Phoenix. So that's fun. Um, I actually sprinkled a little bit, which is very uncommon for Phoenix for it to sprinkle. So that's fun. Hopefully we're getting into monsoon season. Okay. I have uh, chatted your ear off enough. Let's go ahead and go into the library and pick out some books. like like 10 or 15 minutes like not long at all and I got so many books they barely fit in the bottom of the stroller I got like 12 books for me and a whole lot for Ava so I'm gonna go home and uh, feed Ava kind of take care of her and then we'll sit down and chat about the books that I got I literally picked the most random books I didn't even go through all the uh, bookshelves I literally just went through like the first couple and just like grabbed a ton and there's no way I can read these all. But thankfully, what, what my library does is they automatically renew them for me, which is great. So yeah, I'll just keep them until I just have to return them and hopefully I'll get to them. I need my coffee. All right, so we're back home. I have my coffee. I have all my books. Um, Ava is playing in her little playpen here. We got her this little, I guess, playpen. And she hates it. And I don't blame her. It's probably the feeling of being trapped. I don't know. But um, it's safe for her. It allows me to be able to do stuff. But um, yeah, I don't keep her in it for very long at all. All right. So like I said, I very quickly just went through not even all of the bookshelves, the rows at the library. And I just grabbed some books so i'm really excited about these pretty much i've not heard of any of them and we'll see if i get to any of it 
I'm gonna go through this really quickly, so this will be a shorter video, but thank you for watching. Yeah, if you've read any of these or heard of any of them, some of them I have heard of and I'm sure you have as well. Um, but yeah, let me know if they're good. So we're gonna start with the books that I got for Ava. I got her just a few. Um, we do have a lot here and yeah, I just got her a few. So first one is my bookstore baby and I pretty much got all board books. I got a Richard Scarry's book. This is a Busy Busy People. Um, she loves very colorful books. Ferdinand, she's gonna love this one. She loves red. Um, she's gonna love this book. Then I got this Princess Bride accounting book, which is gonna be super fun. It just goes one through 10 and um, like this. I mean, it's so cute. Okay, then this one is Oh So Many Kisses, which she gives us the sweetest, slobberiest kisses all the time. This one is another Richard Scarry's book. I got Llama Llama Red Pajama. I've never read a Llama Llama book to her. And then I got the Lorax as well. So those are the ones that I got for Ava. Hopefully this is a okay angle. I got this new shirt from Target yesterday and I love it, but it is very large. Uh, it's supposed to be, but it's uh, just trying to stay modest. All right, so the first one I got is a Nina George book and this is The Little French Bistro. I know. So I she also wrote, which I also got it, um, The Little Paris at Bookshop, which when I was looking at the synopsis, I feel like I've read it, The Little Paris Bookshop, or else I have wanted to read it. Either way, um, this is The Little French Bistro. Um, I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure it's very atmospheric and cozy and uh, I'm sure it will make me feel like I'm in France. So I got that one. This one is called A Beauty So Rare and it is by Tamara. Alexander. Um, it's a Belmont Mansion novel and there are two, um, but I have literally no idea what this is about, um, but it looks very historical, some romance, I'm sure. I don't know what the time period it is supposed to be set in, um, set during the war, um, but I, I think it might be interesting. Just one of those cute, kind of cozy, um, typical, I'm sure she's a nurse, he's a soldier type of book, but uh, that looks fun. Then I got these three books, the Shadow and Bone books. They had all three there. I actually got Shadow and Bone on the Libby app on my Kindle and I didn't get a chance to read it, so it was returned. Um, these are young adults um, fantasies. I'm sure you've heard of them. I have not read them. Okay, I don't remember where I was. Um, Shadow and Bone. Eva had a little bit of some spit up. I had to go clean up. Uh, yes, yeah, so these are fantasy, young adult. Um, oh, I had to return it on the Libby app. So they had the three. So I went ahead and got all three. Will I get to all three of these? No, <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But uh, yeah, I still went ahead and got those. And because they are young adult and short, I should be able to read them quickly. But we'll see. Okay, here is the second Belmont Mansion novel. This is called A Lasting Impression. They're both standalone, but I guess they're set in the same world or the same mansion. Yeah, I guess this is another wartime romance book, but uh, we'll see if it's good. We'll see if I get to it. If I get to any of these, that would be great, but will I? <laughs> Probably not, but I'm going to try. All right, then I have one called The City of Brass. I believe this is a, is it a trilogy? Yeah, it is part of a trilogy, this is book one. And I have literally no idea what it's about. Um, Lainey Taylor did do a little blur, but I've heard of this author. Do I know what she wrote? No, if you give me a second, I'll probably think of it. I can't think of it, I'm not gonna Google it up, but I'm sure, I'm not going to Google it, but I'm sure you know who Lainey Taylor is. Um, Strange the Dreamer, that's what she wrote. And I have not read that one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is another fantasy. I have no idea what it's about. Um, and it's probably young adult. I'm not exactly sure. Um, this is a debut novel, first of a trilogy. So we'll see if this is any good. I am not much of a fantasy reader. I would like to get into it, I think. So yeah, if you've read that, let me know. All right, then we have another one. 
why I got so many of these, I don't really know. I think I'm just in the mood for just some lighthearted book. I don't know, but this is called After the Shadows by Amanda Cabot, maybe, and this is it. Do I know what it's about? No. Is it another fantasy? I think so. Um, what I understand based on the uh, synopsis on the back, it's a girl who I believe husband had passed. Yes. Her husband has killed, who is an abusive husband who was killed in a bar fight. She goes home, her father died mysteriously. There is a widowed school teacher named Craig and he has a son and somehow his son are, he and his son don't have a home. So Emily, our main heroine has a home that she's gonna turn into a boarding house. And of course she's gonna house this widowed father. Um, and so I believe she is going to figure out how her dad died and I'm sure she'll fall in love with this man and, and his son. So we'll see if that's any good. All right, then these two I have heard of. I don't know which order. Well, this one's first and then this one, but I don't know how it's going to look on <laughs> the video. Uh, we have Ninth House and Hellbent. Um, this is the same author that wrote the Shadow and Bone series, Leigh Bardugo, and, um, another fantasy duology. This one recently came out. I don't know if it came out this year or the end of last year. Um, really gross, weird cover. I don't know if that's a bunny or what. And then this one has a little snake on it. I don't know anything about these, but I do know that people enjoy them. So the fact that they had them both there, I thought, well, I'll pick them up. Um. So we'll see if I get to them. I gotta figure out which ones I want to read the most. But like I said, it's nice that my library does automatically renew. So, yes, okay, I have two more. I have The Little Paris Bookshop, which I had talked about at the beginning by Nina George. I believe this is about a man who has a letter from someone whom uh, he had a great love that disappeared and he has a letter and it's just about books and Paris and I think it will be a very fun book. It is very popular. I just have not gotten around to it. I'm sure it's been out for a while. Yeah, it's been out since 2015. All right, then the last one is, we have the Zarina's Daughter. Um, this one, I have no idea what it's about, um, but it's about a daughter of a czar, <laughs> um, obviously. Um, on the back it says, Astonishing the Ultimate Cinderella Story. So um, another, uh romance book i'm hoping it's very atmospheric i wanted something kind of cozy and wintry and this might deliver i don't know yeah another book hopefully i'll get to but if not that is okay so i picked up 12 books for me and all of these for ava which obviously we'll read all of these but hopefully i will get to a lot of <laughs> my books here it's a nice big old stack i'm gonna see if i can so i'm gonna close off this video here i hope that you enjoyed it i did make it very fast because i am a mom i have a five month old almost six month old who is constantly on the move and she is struggling with her naps these days she likes cat naps so we are working on that all right, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe so you stay updated when I post new content. I post lots about books and books and knitting. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you are. Enjoy your weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.